Okay, thanks for watching. Um, this is going to be another quick video on setting up the auto pan um, in Apple's Logic Pro. So let me go ahead and zoom in. Again, I'm using the same snare track I used in the previous video. So there it is, and it's still doing the um, the volume control, so up and down. Now I want it to go ahead and auto pan from left to right or vice versa. Um, so again, all you got to do is let me zoom in here. Go to view. Go to view, and then go down to hyperdraw. And again, you get the little menu that pops open. There's the sub menu for hyperdraw. So I'm going to select pan, which is the second one from right underneath volume. So I'm going to go ahead and select pan. Select pan. And now my pan is set up here uh, so I can control my pan. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the pencil. And now I'm going to have it go down, up, and then back down. So now what's happening is it's panning from the left to the right. And let me turn this up so you can hear it a little better. And I'll put the, the camera right in the center so you guys can hear it. Okay. You can hear it going from left to right. If you look it down at my mixer, it's completely automated here. And so, going over here, you can see. There it goes. And if you look at the pan at the top, you can see it's automatically going from left to right all by itself. Okay? So that's how you can automate your mixes. So um, using the hyperdraw. So thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe so you can check out more cool videos. Thanks. Bye.